Hello, Cougar Nation. That's hard. <laughs> Gordo is influencing us. He is I a bad I was in lane six. Once again. You gotta record us for this Saturday. So Guys don't want to go too fast because they gotta go fast again on Saturday. That's okay. Hello, Cougar Nation. So Thanks I just hopped into the workout halfway through what you've done before this past rut. So yeah, we went on an Amazon trail there for some nice dirt, just because we're still filling it a bit. We did a 450 tempo mile, and we hopped back on to two 400s before you caught us, and now yep. we've got one more after this. So we're try trying to hit 63, but so far we're 62, 63, 61. This man's the best, better pacer right now. So. <laughs> uh, this is the first time for me. So, so this is number four, 400? This will be our fourth rep right now, yeah. yeah. That's hard. <laughs> Gordo is influencing us. He is I, a bad I was in lane six. Once again. You gotta record us for this Saturday. These guys don't want to go too fast because they gotta go fast again on Saturday. That's okay. It's like okay. We'll forgive you this time. I apologize. So you got four two hundreds. Huh? Four two hundreds. Yep. Plans to go. Have you start at twenty eight, and then yep. as a result, you're just gonna get warmer. So yeah. get out of the way. Sorry, boys. No, you're good.
28. Oh, it feels good to do some speed. Yeah. You didn't get enough from the race. No, I, I okay. I, yeah, I, I got enough from the race. I just, I, it just feels good to do some speed. No, it's true. Especially when you're getting back from a race for speed stuff. Uh, like really close, fast, and safe. Nice, nice and relaxed, looks good. There we go, 27. Who's 27, one? 27. Okay, one more. No faster than that. Is that? That was our last one. Yeah. That was three. We yeah, yeah, we got one more. No rolling? No, let's just keep it where we're at. We got to roll on Saturday. Kenneth, what's it been like? Obviously, the euphoria of making a team, but then all of a sudden you get this week of maybe you can help your boy James make a team with you. You know, it's it's exciting. It's just been like so. Uh, it's really special to like have to, like first to finish the race and like James like I got there. And it's it just like so exciting, and it is it's an honor to be able to you know be part of helping him get the time he needs to make it. Because James has worked hard. He's worked really hard, especially this year. Oh, sorry. Especially this year. He's put so much work in the steeple to just be fast. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Bye. Ah, you're good. I, I, I got to beat him somehow. I, mean, I, I, I like how James got about a 10 meter lead. Can you play around a 24? No, I didn't. No, it was good. It wasn't 10 yeah, meters, that was but that's good. No, that's good. Yeah, that was 27. So we're good. Okay. Well, let's change shoes. Let's get a couple miles in. Good job. That's just what, just what we needed. Okay. So, Coach, what's the plan for Saturday? races on Saturday? Yeah, the plan is. Uh, to go to Philadelphia and uh, channel some good vibes <laughs> and uh, try to get an a Olympic qualifier. Is there any specific strategy with pacing a steeple, especially because you can kind of do whatever you want with it, obviously having... Well, Kenneth James is really there. good closing in about 60 seconds, and I think he can do that off of even a relatively fast pace. Where you get in trouble with the steeple chase is when you go out too hard. Um, so I, I can see us kind of getting out honest, but uh, and then, then squeezing it down the last, uh, last 1,200 and, and finishing as fast as we can. <laughs> and whether it takes, uh, you know, if we could get sub-815, that would be ideal, obviously, but uh, it's, the meet has now been moved up to a, a challenger event, and with the points that could come, from running, uh, maybe 820 would do it. So, but there's also going to be everybody else's country's uh, national championship is taking place in Europe this year. So things are going to move. So what would get you in now might not get you in. So yeah. it'd be great if we could run sub 815, but if uh, sub 820 might do it, which I think ran 821 in the prelims. So uh, it's uh, it's doable. Is there like with uh, pacing a steeple? Is there going to be a strategy to let James always be in like in lane one? Yeah, and I mean, have yeah, like, we're going to do some some basic stuff in, in that yeah. category. Yeah, I mean in the in the heats he was having to be out in lane two for safety's sake and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep him on the inside. We want him running the least amount as possible, and, and we'll 
try to maximize everything possible. And, and hopefully it's, there's been a heat wave on the East Coast. Now if we could just cool down, maybe a little rain in the forecast. I see a little rain now, so that's a, a little bit more encouraging. And you know, uh, we'll give it a shot. Either way, it's been an amazing Olympic trial so far. And Kenneth ran such a powerful move with 800. I think that kind of worked to our advantage in terms of James because the pack was pretty much shattered by that last lap. And James still closing 60 seconds and you're gonna pass a lot of people, especially when they're fatigued over that. So, but so far it's been a, a great meet. And we'll, you know, if we can, if we can punch that final, uh, you know, do that final hurdle to, to officially get on the, the team, great. And if not, you know, it's fine. He's young, he's got plenty of time ahead for him.